welcome to The Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Adriana Brizuela. We're here today at the PBS 39 studios at the Steel Stacks campus in Bethlehem. Today we have Chef Joe Grisafi of Corked Wine Bar right here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Joe, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. Thank yes, you very much. great to have you here. So, what do you have for us here today? I see a couple Asian inspired uh, ingredients. Yeah, today we're going to uh, prepare an ahi tuna um, salad okay. over a nappy cabbage with a sesame soy vinaigrette dressing. And then we're also going to cook off some soba noodles. And we're going to take um, some fresh salmon here. Beautiful. And we're going to encrust that in a wasabi pea horseradish. Wow, nice little bite there. Breadcrumb mixture here. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to make it very simple, very light, healthy, nice summertime. Nice, fresh plate. Yep. Sounds you know. like it's going to be very fresh and light. Very, very, excited. very easy. Anybody can do in their own house. Great. So simple. So how can we get started? Let me just uh, show you here. Um, what I did here is we have uh, wasabi uh, coated peas. So some of these here. So we took these peas here. We put them in a blender. Mm -hmm. And um, we blend them down. We put some horseradish and some different seasonings inside of here. Okay. And that's how we're going to get our coating for our salmon. We have um, a black and white tuna salad as well. Mm -hmm. So we have black and white sesame seeds here that we roasted off. Um, so always make sure when you um, buy sesame seeds, you put them in a pan and slightly toast them a little toast, bit. Toast them a little bit. You know so that raw gives flavor. you a little favor. Okay. Okay. Um, Sounds I have good. A water boiling here for our soba noodles. So what are soba noodles exactly? Uh, it's like a wheat noodle. Okay. Really. Um, so we're just gonna get the water bo uh, boiling, and then we're gonna throw that in there. Uh, just to give us a nice um, cold noodle pasta All salad. Right. So our tuna we're going to cook last. You know, both fishes I don't recommend cook. I mean, the tuna wants to be rare, medium rare. Right. If you cook tuna past medium rare, it hates you. Okay. It doesn't Not like so you. Not so good. All right. Not good. Um, now, if we go out to eat and I go out to eat with my mom, mm -hmm. she'll order an ahi tuna dish. She'll get it, and when it comes out, it'll be rare. She'll send it back. Oh no! So I have to. Do so you have you know, to talk her down when, a little bit? When you hear tuna in a restaurant, you hear ahi tuna. Mm -hmm. It's going to come rare to medium rare okay. all the time. Great. Um, our salmon, we're going to cook. Uh, we're going to cook that medium rare. Mm -hmm. I preferably medium rare, all fish, all meat, medium all right. rare. Some people like it well done. And are these dishes we can get at Corked? Yes, these are both dishes that we do serve on the menu at Corked. So um, our water's starting to boil mm -hmm. soon. Um, in the meantime, what I'll do is get a sauté pan here. All right, so while we're getting all these pans heated up, can you tell us a little bit more about Corked Wine Bar and Steakhouse? Definitely. Uh, Corked Wine Bar and Steakhouse, uh, I opened in October um, 2013. We are located in downtown historic Bethlehem. Uh, the address is 515 Main Street. In the meantime, we'll take the salmon here and we'll take our wasabi peas uh, blend here and we're just going to coat that. Coat the fish. Okay, and how many seats do you have at the restaurant? Uh, we have about 220 seats. Wow, so you can see yeah. a lot of people. It's a huge place. Great. Huge place, open kitchen. The whole restaurant's just really open, very lively, high energy, mm -hmm. um, very New York City, Vegas style restaurant. If you come to Bethlehem, you gotta stop in the Cork. And Absolutely, come check us out. it sounds Definitely. like the place to be. Just so a light just, coating on that? Yep, we're just gonna coat that with the wasabi peas. Do you need some oil in this pan? Yeah, we'll get some oil in there. So for medium rare salmon, um, typical steak, how long does that normally take? Just a couple minutes on each side? Yeah, it'll take about like four minutes on each side. Okay. Um, so we're gonna wait till the, the water gets boiling here. Don't want that to get done first Yeah, we want to do everything in order would take some longer. So at this point, the pasta is gonna take the longest. Okay. Um, in the meantime, we can yeah, maybe work on our salad. Okay. Cook something from the show? Went to a restaurant that you loved? Found a place serving innovative cocktails or impressive wine? Become a fan of The Chef's Kitchen on Facebook and share your thoughts. We're back with Chef Joe Grisafi of Corked Wine Bar and Steakhouse. Here we have a um, sesame soy vinaigrette that we make in-house. Sesame oil, soy sauce, it has um, some actually sesame seeds in there as well. If you make it in the kitchen so I have to try it. I'll tell you. Do you want to try it too? No, you can try it. All right. Just mix it up a little bit. All right. I think it's going to go better once it hits the salad and mm -hmm. the lettuce and everything. Wow. Really bright flavors. Yeah, it, it, it hits that. you. We're going to lightly coat it. We're not going to overdo it um, on the salad. Okay. So, it's a delicious bright flavor though. So we're going to take, um, here we have iceberg and like a Napa cabbage. So we chopped all that up here. We okay. have a nice blend. This is what nice we use. Crisp. 
Yep, very crisp. Yeah. I know Corked and a couple of your other restaurants are really Italian inspired, but it's really nice that you have these other um, cuisine infused dishes like these Asian flavors. Are there anything else like that that you have at the restaurant? Yeah, um, you know, I, honestly, I opened Corked um, because I grew up in an Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. Done Italian my whole life. Um, I have you know, two other Italian restaurants, right. uh, Taste Italy and Roma, mm -hmm. which are right off Airport Road in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Um, so, being in an Italian restaurant, you know, I threw a couple Asian dishes on once in a while, and believe it or not, they did sell like crazy. Really? But when you're stuck in Italian, you're stuck in a box. Yeah. You can only do so much. Mm -hmm. So that's why I kind of. Pasta kinda, so many ways. That's why, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They have pasta every way All with right. every kind of cream and every kind of wine. It's a little That's great. Little and crazy. offer up a little bit of variety at Cork. So at Cork, now we're a steakhouse. We're an American restaurant mm -hmm. where we can feature Asian, Italian, French, English dishes. That's great. A um, little bit of everything. So Perfect. I have the ability to play with food a little bit more. All right. 15 um, minutes, Chef. All right. So I'm going to set this down. Um, we have our cabbage here. Mm -hmm. Um, we have some um, carrots, carrots that we uh, shredded up before the show. All right. So I'm going to just take a knife out of the drawer mm -hmm. here. And Cut up the green onion. Yes. Now, are you someone that typically uses just one part? I know some people really like the green part. Some people really like the whites. Do you do um, I mean, honestly, the best part of the onion is from here to here. Okay. Um, some people use this for decoration. Right. In restaurants, we actually do use this for decoration, okay. for dishes, mm -hmm. um, but the flavor is all right here. Okay, in the so, center part of the, the center part. onion. Yep. All right, great. So we're just gonna dice that up. Chop these up quick. And what else do we have going in the salad? Some pickled ginger, cucumber, is that what that is? Yep, we're gonna actually, um, the one salad we're making with the soba noodles will get the pickled ginger and that cucumber. All right. It looks um, like the water is boiling. Did you want me to get the soba noodles in? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. And we will actually still a little oh. bit of salt. Can't forget the salt that water. water. That's right. Just like any other just, pasta. Just a little bit of salt. Okay. How long, so soba noodles being wheat noodles, do they take the same amount of time to cook as like an egg noodle pasta or? Um, the soba noodles take about four to five minutes to cook. Okay, so similar to almost like a fresh pasta. Yep. All right, so we're just going to chop these up nice and fine. Nice even dice on yep. that. Yep. Very Not fragrant. There. You can smell it. So you mentioned you have two other restaurants. Can you tell us a little bit more about those? Yes, uh, two Italian restaurants. Um, Taste of Italy. I opened when I was 19 with my dad. Wow. Uh, it's located on Catasauqua Road. We've been there for about 13 years. Um, and then when I was 28, I opened Roma Restaurant mm -hmm. over in the airport shopping center. And it's about four years in there. Great. And six months ago, I opened Can't get Corks. enough. You keep opening them up. Uh, I got a lot of family, so <laughs> we got to keep everybody busy. Yeah, got jobs right. for everybody. I have two brothers, um, plus, you know, my dad, obviously. Um, so so each wanna... of the restaurants are a really nice family operation, it sounds like. Yes, yep. Yeah, my brother, uh, Frank, is at Taste Italy. Mm -hmm. My brother, Paul, um, took over Roma ever since I left mm -hmm. to go open Cork. So um, That's great. So do you have a lot of family recipes that are, yeah. um, or did you kind of come up with them? They, they yeah. you know, I mean, when I grew up as a kid, I mean, my dad was in the restaurant business, so mm -hmm. they were his recipes. Okay. Ever since I've turned like 21 to 32 now, mm -hmm. they've, they've evolved. Great. So, so you add your own personal touches yeah. to everything. Yeah. So I'm trying to make you know everything better and better as time goes on. Yeah, that's you know? great. You get a little creative. All right. So we're gonna quickly wrap up these two dishes here. All right. Um, let's get this oil back on. So are you gonna cook the tuna whole, the whole steak here, or will you cut it up first? Uh, we're gonna actually. This is ahi grade tuna. Yes, it's beautiful. So if you go to a you know, Japanese restaurant, you mm -hmm. can eat this just like this. Right. It doesn't have to be cooked at all. Yes. But we're going to cube it up into little cubes. Okay. Do you have a strainer? Yes, we do. All right. Okay. It's ready to go. Pasta right here. I'm going to finish coating this tuna and the sesame seeds. Yeah, sure. Please. That'd be great. So is the uh, black and white sesame seeds just more for the look, or are there actually different flavors? Uh, it's just more for the look to give it some color, different colors and texture. You know, like just more color. Yeah. You know, rather than all black or all white. Right. The salmon we have right here. The salmon. Very nice oil.
Cook something from the show? Went to a restaurant that you loved? Found a place serving innovative cocktails or impressive wine? Become a fan of the Chef's Kitchen on Facebook and share your thoughts. We're back with more from Corked Wine Bar and Steakhouse. Since the soba noodles are going to be used for a colder salad, would you do anything um, to prep that? Do you put them in the fridge yes. or do you just let them cool down at room temperature? We're going to cool them off of cold water in a couple minutes here. Okay. So we've got the oil butter combination going here. I always like to use that. You get the high hot temperatures with the oil and the yes. flavor from the butter. Butter, yep. So we just have some cold water rinse. Okay. On that. Bring that down to a colder temperature. Yes. Okay. Salmon, after two minutes, we'll turn it. And get a spoon here. So it sounds like cork being a wine bar, you have a bunch of different wines. It sounds like, can you tell us a little bit more about the wine offerings, how you came up with the wines that you serve? Do you um, change them frequently? Uh, our wines change with season, okay. so you know three to four times a year we're changing our wines, our menu, everything. It's not a restaurant where if you come in the fall, you come back next fall, All right. it won't be the same menu. It'll be very, you know. So if I find my favorite dish being one of these, we, it's not guaranteed. Leaving. We still may have like our staple dishes, right? But um, well, you'll do some more seasonal yeah, things. Yeah, like forty percent of the menu changes every season. Mm -hmm. Slowly over the course of a month, we'll go from a winter a winter menu to a spring menu, right? And like. It's not like all of a sudden in one shot. I have a, a great bar manager mm -hmm. um, who uh, is very educated in wine. So with tuna, we're just gonna get a nice get a nice sear on each side. It smells really good in here. Um, I'm really excited to try everything. Salmon. Let's see. So you just touch it to check yeah. the doneness. Yeah, we're gonna let it another one more minute or two more minutes there. We want to get it medium rare, if right. not completely rare. What are you thinking about these noodles? Do you think they're okay? Yeah, you can shut the water off. All right. And then we'll uh, drain that and... Put it into a bowl? Yes, we'll throw it right into this bowl here. All right. Watch the water. Oh. Whoop. Sorry about that. That's all right. All right, get that drained. So we have our noodles here, Great. we have our salads here, two salads, now we're going to pull the fish off and then just let it sit for a minute. Let it rest a little yep. bit. And it'll still cook when it's sitting there. This is going to sear up the sides. Something similar to when you're cooking steak, steak you're letting rest. them rest, let the yep. juices reconstitute back in. Are you done with that burning stuff? Yes. So each side quick, just one minute. Nice sear on all sides. Yep. And what do here? I use this cutting board here. All right. Tongue, please. Yeah. He's all and done. Yes. All Just right. Set it right here. Let that chill for a minute. All right. And we'll finish our salads. So which salads are going to go with which fish? Okay, so we have the Napa cabbage salad here. Mm -hmm. We're going to um, slice this tuna down. We're laying on top of this salad. We're also going to take some of this salad and put it in with those noodles. Okay. So um, first thing is a spoon. Spoon. Get this Works. spoon. And those two plates over there. Sure. So we're just going to lightly basically coat. So just enough dressing to get it all yep. covered, but not too much. Yep, not too much. I'll mix all this up. I love that you made that dressing in-house. Yeah, we make all of our dressings in-house. Um, our Caesar, our white balsamic vinaigrette, which is our mm -hmm. house dressing. Yes. Um, every, you know, uh, everything at Corked is honestly our pastries. Everything's made in-house. Um, That's really great. Talk about a culinary... Uh, adventure, I mean, yeah. or a restaurant, you know, it's 100% um, the real deal here on, in Bethlehem at Court. And there's pizza on the menu also, right? Yes, we have brick oven pizza. So we have a real brick oven, has bricks on top, bricks on the bottom. It's traditional brick oven pizza. 
And you say, why do you have pizza in a steakhouse? Yeah. I mean, honestly. Interesting combination. Pizza isn't Italian anymore. Pizza is. Um, yeah, you do you know, see it kind of everywhere. everywhere different toppings. Yep. That's right. So we're going to take some of this cabbage lettuce too. And we're just going to put a little bit into this. Mm -hmm. The soba noodles. In the meantime, I'm just going to take this. Like that. Do you want me to do that while you get yeah, the you noodles mind? going? Just Absolutely. That's hot. Not. Sure. So just in the center of the yep. dish here? In the center, like the long way. All right. See a little bit more of this dressing and just put it right in there. And also, we have some pickled ginger here that we made in that we pickle in house. Oh, so you made that in house yep. too. Yep. So we're just going to get some of this, some right, right in there, and we have some like marinated sweet uh, cucumbers. Oh, interesting. So what is yeah. that marinated in? Uh, water, sugar, vinegar. Okay. And it sits with a little bit of hot it's pepper. It's like a light actually. pickle almost. Yep. Yep. Like a light pickle. So we're going to throw some of these in here too in the salad. I had to bring all these ingredients done because there's a lot of work that goes into <laughs> yeah, these dishes. Yeah, you guys are busy in this kitchen. It looks simple, but I mean, this is prepped, this is prepped. That's right. Uh, everything takes time and everything's prepped. Can we get the other plate? What's the nightlife like for, at Cork? Uh, Cork on Friday and Saturday night. Friday nights we have some kind of live entertainment or DJ. Um, not like club DJ, we're not a club, we're a restaurant. All right. But it's very upbeat. Live like music. City yeah. restaurant. Um, Saturday nights we good have time, a DJ. Great place for a date or going with yep. a group of friends. Yep. Even if you've already gone out to dinner, it sounds like it's a great place to catch a late night drink. Yeah, come have a drink. Some snacks. We serve appetizers until uh, midnight. So it's definitely a place to come and you know have a good time. You sounds know, like even, a lot of fun. Even dining, I mean, we're a fun, fine dining restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, very and you definitely have the room for it with 220 seats. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Stay tuned for more from Cork Wine Bar and Steakhouse. We're back with more from Cork Wine Bar and Steakhouse. Right. So, last thing. Okay. This thing is our tuna here. So I'm going to set this up here. Set this up here. Grab this fish here, right here. So nice Asian infused flavors in both of these dishes. Yes. And this will just square up. Tuna, I'm just gonna oh, slice it. the best it. part, you get to see. Seared on the outside and cooked just right on the inside. Actually, we let it sit there. And it may have overcooked slightly, but that's okay. You can smell the toasted sesame seeds. So we're gonna just Lay that. Beautiful presentation. Down. And then. So is this something we would see more as an appetizer on the menu, or is this more of a main dish? Uh, this is available as a, like a salad. OK, so a salad option. I mean, it is a great appetizer. Yeah. And then we'll just put these last two pieces here. We didn't let it sit so long, it'd be still medium rare. It's about medium right now. Okay. Um, but it's great. You know, maybe I'll call my mom, she'll come over and she'll and eat she'll it. And she'll be happy. She'll say, this was she, perfect, she'll, Joe. She'll love that. That's so. right. You said, I did it for you, Mom. So actually, I think these dishes need a little bit of wine. So I'm going to go get a couple glasses for us to have some. Sure, sure. You know what? I actually forgot. Um, we have some toasted almonds you can throw right on top of the one salad. Okay. Nice little textural crunch. Yep. Just throw them right on. Let's have this salad right here, the wasabi encrusted salmon. And we'll throw them right on the side of the black and white tuna. Okay. Okay. And so these are, are these just almonds you toasted lightly? Yeah, we just toasted them off in the oven um, just to give them a little color, a little bit more flavor. Okay, great. So I'm just going to get this delicious wine open. Pour a little bit, and then we can taste the delicious Asian-infused dishes you made. All right. So first, Thank you. let's do a little toast. Thank you for Thank being you. here. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. I'm excited to try. Delicious. All right. Time for the moment of truth. Here we go. I'm going to go in for the tuna. Mm. 
really fresh. I love the sesame seeds. I'm gonna try a little of the salad with it. Nice and light. Mm -hmm. Everything's just light. One thing about Asian foods, delicious, you get the really nice balance of flavors, acidic, sweet, salty, sour. Mm -hmm. You really taste that in these dishes. How did, mm. oh. I didn't get any of the soba noodle yet, so I'm gonna get some of that with a little bit of the salad you made. Real good, I mean. Really fresh. All we're missing is the beach. Nice light option. Everything's good. The beach, all right. That's all we're missing in front of us right now is the <laughs> beach, right? All yeah. right, well, let's toast to that then. So, Chef Joe Grisaki, Corked Wine Bar thank and Steakhouse, thank you so much for coming to the Chef's Kitchen. Thanks for having me, thank you very much. Sharing these great dishes with us. It was great cooking with you today. Anytime, thank you. Cheers.